The plan is that uh, this site will be uh, ready by September next year um, to be opened as a community centre. And within that uh, Inspire Community Centre, there'll be a whole range of different um, services. There'll be two community rooms, uh, one right here um, and another one towards the back of this building that will be open for uh, people to hire um, and for community groups to come and use as they, as they wish. Um, there'll be a community media suite where people will be able to come and get involved in all kinds of new media activities. On that side, there'll be a community cafe um, that will be open um, most of the week. Um, it will be run both as an ordinary uh, cafe that people can come and buy uh, food and drink and so on, but also um, as a youth training project as well, so that young people can uh, learn catering skills, uh, cooking, hygiene, all of that kind of thing as part of that process. And then uh, if you go up in the lift, which uh, will be about there, uh, you'll get up to the first floor, and on the first floor there'll be a business incubation suite, and there uh, we'll have business support and be able to, and a number of hot desks and small office spaces where people will be able to set up their businesses and, uh, and run those businesses in a supported, uh, managed workspace. Um, and uh, all of these uh, different aspects are going to be run by different partners from, um, from community organisations in Levensham and South Manchester. So it's been a real uh, combined effort. I'm really grateful to the partners that are here today um, in, in, in their support in putting together all these plans. The specific reason that we're here today um, is for the launch of our community share offer. The whole scheme um, costs around, uh, is going to cost around £3 million. In fact, I forgot a really important element of the scheme, forgive me Ben. Um, that is that above all of, all of the community centre, there will be 14 apartments which will be run by Great Places Housing Association. The whole scheme um, will, uh, is, is costing around £3 million. And um, I'm delighted to say that we actually do have the majority of that money, but we still have a small gap in our funding, and so all of this building work is going ahead at some risk. And as part of our way of trying to fill that gap, uh, we've decided to launch this community share offer. Now, there are two reasons for having a community share offer. The first is, quite obviously, to raise funds, and it's our hope that uh, you and other people that you know uh, will um, buy some shares uh, in the scheme. We've talked a great deal about the regeneration of Levenshulme while maintaining the identity of Levenshulme because Levenshulme has got a very distinct identity indeed. And as I've been discussing with people here, this year is a centenary year of Levenshulme joining Manchester. Before that it was a separate urban district council but it now consented freely and willingly to be part of the city. And in the Levenshulme Community Forum and in other ways, we have wanted to make sure that as times move on, Levenshulme remains a discernible area with its own identity, its own population, its own aspirations, and that is what we are achieving with this project.